How confident are you that we're going to get our luggage? Not confident. <laughs> <laughs> Here, that's my motor. Oh, okay. We've got our bags. So excited. Excited that all the journeys have finally ended. A bit tired as well, early start, 2 30 in the morning. Yeah. Really how much uh, how much sleep have you had? I don't know, like maybe two, three hours. Getting picked up in a push, not a bad start. Not a bad start. Very excited to see what's happening. Uh, it's all a bit of a surprise. So uh, yeah, I think we're gonna find out more once we arrive, but yeah, I'm excited. It's gonna be good. <laughs> We've spotted a wild Sebastian Vettel. Get out of the car, Sebastian Vettel's just walking around with his helmet. <laughs> Um, walk in and meet Vivian, who's organised all this, and well, yeah, Mick Schumacher just appears out of nowhere. Um, just come into the hotel. But the, I mean, the view though, I don't think you can get better than that. That is the track. Oh, look, someone's going around at the moment. You must be like just 10 yeah, out of 10 excited. It's so casual. You're just walking around, there's just four one drivers. I mean, David Coulthard just walked past you yeah. and went, all right. <laughs> <laughs> So tell me, how are you feeling? So we've just done the tour of all the VIP bits and the special driver's area. What's going through your mind right now? Very overwhelmed. So much here. It's ridiculous that we're allowed in pretty much anywhere we want, really. Oh, I guess you have to wait and find out, though. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Stay tuned, people. Very exciting. So Reza and Shan have just spotted the uh, electric GT4 Porsche. Let's go and have a little look. This gazoo here, and as Polaris are the, one of the main sponsors of well, Racing Champions, they've got these absolutely amazing snow reveals here, and this buggy, which has been out here, well, been out on track today, and you just have word that maybe driving one of these around on Monday, which is unbelievable. How excited are you for that? Because this doesn't look like it's slow. It looks no, quite fun. Lo looks quite fun. Just there we go. It's, made, it's meant to be. Okay, so Reza, on the next instalment of F1 Superstar Spotting, who have we just seen walking? Valtteri Bottas just casually walked past us. Excited. Unfortunately, Reza can't drive on this section because it's a uh, live road, but uh, I've been told not to overtake the lead car. So I'm Anton Malken, I'm one of the instructors uh, and we are taking you to one of our lakes and we are going to do some driving on some really nice track, doing some sideways driving and all that. So we will have a lot of fun today. Now we are on the first stage on the, on the ice and, and we are talking about the driving system in the car, how it's working, how to behave with it, uh, how to handle the steering wheel and, and uh, the throttle as well, in, or in combination. Just to, to make sure that you understand how the car is working and uh, talk a little bit of lines, braking points, uh, load chains, etc. So this is the first part of the ice driving area and, and uh, yeah, we will continue for a couple of minutes or hours.
Porsche. Well, decided to let us out on the 911 GT. What is it? GTS. GTS. And it's insane. Um, thank you very much to Porsche Sweden. It's been unreal. This car is so fast. Yeah. You uh, sliding it around on ice, you really did make it look like a work of art. <laughs> um, I'm very impressed. So, how did Reza get on? It was a uh, nice, beautiful progress, to be honest. Uh, he's starting to struggle a little bit with the steering wheel, of course. It's normal when you start doing some activities on ice. But after a few minutes, uh, actually, he catch up with the few tips we gave him. And, and in the end, it was uh, great fun to see. Uh, that I think Reza is going to ask if we can buy a Porsche. <laughs> no, but, uh, no what, what an amazing experience. It's so, so cool. Can't believe you're driving around on a frozen lake, which is like bizarre. Um, different type of car control, you know, from me driving on the road, but amazing to watch Reza drive around and just his car control. Yeah, fantastic. But yeah, really, really cool, um, cool experience. And thanks to Porsche Sweden and uh, uh, race of champions for arranging that, that's absolutely brilliant. Uh, in the driver's lounge, um, just grab some food and relax from it, and the race is going to start. Shan, are you warm enough? It's a little bit cold here at Race of Champions today. Group B Rally Carly S1 Quattro is just going round with the Audi e-tron Dakar. It sounds insane. Alright, so it's end of day one here at Race of Champions. Congratulations to Oliver Solberg and Petter Solberg on winning the Nations Cup. We've dominated this on today so far. Um, yeah, I just wanted to share some of the things we got up to. Porsche driving experience with Porsche Sweden. Um, sim racing, done sim racing, set some purple sexes in there as well. And just chilling around really in the driver's lounge and meeting everyone, which is what an experience. Great thing to be able to do. Um, it's now sat down because I may have hit the ping pong ball and to make it happen to dinner. Which is fine. Yeah, I'll just leave relax a bit. Nice, another busy day tomorrow. Yeah. And you're driving tomorrow? No, not tomorrow. Passenger lap tomorrow. Nice. So it's day two here at Racing Champions. We all had a bit of a late night last night. <coughs> My voice is gone. Um, yeah, we're going to get out in the car today, go for some passenger laps, which is going to be fun. And we have Seb for today, which is really exciting. And my dad's with David Coulthard, which is also amazing. It'll be good fun. It'll be interested to see what that jumps like, but uh, we'll find out shortly. Thank you.
Absolutely brilliant drive. Yeah, we won as well, which is fantastic. But yeah, nice little donut at the end. But yeah, really good fun, really good fun. Insane. Okay, so it's Sunday evening, end of day two. Talk us through your day. Oh yes, I've been absolutely surreal to be out this morning with Sebastian Vettel in the Polaris. Big things, but they handle so well. One of the fastest cars around here. And they're in with um, Deville, also for the semi-finals in the super light car, which was so fast, so grippy. And then for the final with uh, Ekstrom, and we brought home the win, even with the car on fire, which is unbelievable. Uh, it's been a really surreal whole weekend to be honest with you. Um, so day started off with uh, us knowing that Reza was going to get to go in uh, as a passenger in one of the cars. Um, but yeah, really, really amazing because he basically got to go out uh, with Sebastian Vettel uh, in the quarterfinals, Deville in the half in the semi-finals, uh, halfway through the day, and then also get uh, to go out with uh, Ekstrom in the finals. Um, but yeah, great experience for Reza. All the drivers have been so, so uh, friendly, helpful, given Reza some really great advice. And we've met so many other people here associated with motorsport who have um, also been equally nice, uh, very friendly and very helpful. And awesome. And you also got out on the track yourself today. I did, yeah. I was lucky enough to go out. Uh, David Coulthard needed a bit of extra ballast, so yeah, that was me up for the job. Uh, as opposed to Reza, that they wanted the lightest featherweight available. Uh, but yeah, no, he went out with, uh, with David, and he won. He won that heat. Um, amazing how the the Polaris can actually handle. I mean, the thing is literally flying around side to side, but, uh, transferring the balance and the weight. But they drive so well. That's awesome. And what would be your, um, what's your highlight of the whole weekend so far? Oh God, that's a really hard question. Um, I don't know if there is a highlight because there's just so much was happening and so much was going on. Um, I think really, I suppose it's got to be uh, for Reza to meet all the drivers and talk to them. But yeah, being in the winning car with the winning driver for the final, I think that's pretty much it. Okay, so it's day three here at Race of Champions. All the racing's finished, but we've been, well, it's been arranged for us to have a day here out on the track uh, with Timo Schneider, who will be my coach. Yeah, let us get to grips with their cars, which is absolutely amazing. And what cars are you uh, expecting to drive? Uh, we'll be driving the Super Light, which is a full Fiesta of around 500 horsepower, which is crazy. And then there's an electric Cupra, it's got over a thousand horsepower and then we've also got the Polaris RZR which I think is supposed to be the most fun to drive. Which one are you most looking forward to getting behind the wheel of? I think the Super Light really because the same gearbox as the Geneta is hoping it's somewhat similar really. <laughs> It 
Okay, so we're just getting ready to go out on track. Um, everyone's just getting all their kit and stuff. Um, nice touch for the design. Name names, stickers and symbols are really cool. <laughs> Okay, so you've just been out in the S1. What was it like? Uh, insane. I mean, it's a new level of respect for anyone that drives a rally car because I've never been in one, but the amount of inputs and uh, adjustments and turning and gears, and that's a real handful. I mean, that guy's going to be knackered. I was knackered after three laps. Yeah. He's going to be tired tonight. <laughs> Okay, so we've just been out in the super light. Uh, I think it's so fast, but there's no grip out there at all, especially with the snow which came down last night. And we also went out in the side by side, which was really fun because I got to take my dad out there and try, try and scare him a bit. But now we're out in the Cupra, uh, which is an electric car. And yeah, by the sounds of it, it's pretty insane. It's got some uh, massive treads on the tires. Hopefully, it'll be a bit more grip this time. It looks pretty insane. Well, it's trying to attempting to drive it as fast as they were driving it, yesterday, but don't want to be putting it in the wall, especially though we got to do qualifying a race later. What's the uh, what's like the not to sixty on this thing? 3.2 seconds, even though it's on ice, which is pretty insane because there's barely any traction out there. I mean, you can see the tread on these tyres, a bit of grip off the line. That was the Cupra, my dad, about to go out. You can see here there is a grain frame, this means that the car is ready to go. Just about to go out for quality in the Polaris. Uh, it's a standing start, and it's just a one, two lap shootout. Whoever sets the fastest time is on pulp. There's not really different positions, but gets to go into the Cupra and do the final race. right now with a time of 152.9 so 7 tenths just quicker than P2 Risa <laughs> see you rather than whatever that is <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> see you guys Top four, get ready get yourself ready
So, you won the race. He won, baby. So, um, Fraser, I have to say, he impressed me quite a lot. So, um, when we had the free practice sessions, you saw already that he's like uh, one of the, the quick guys and he improved over the day more and more. And uh, when he came down to qualifying, he was there spot on. And um, on the super final, he just smashed it and he killed everyone in terms of lap times and performance. No mistake, good performance. So keep on pushing, Razor. I think you have a bright future coming up. What? Can you wrap up your weekend for us? I'd be absolutely unbelievable. I mean, you can walk around the paddock seeing all the four line drivers all the world branding champions, DTM champions, and everything seems so casual here. It's almost like everyone's sort of a big family. And yeah, to be part of it is an amazing opportunity. Thank you very much to Jamie. Without, without her help, none of this would have been possible. And having been a car with Sebastian Vettel, being a car with Ekstrom, um, and well, we won race of champions, which is amazing, even with the car on fire.